Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solanix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great and welcome to your daily Solana update. Uh, was needed. Solana has been quite weak over the course of today. Um, yesterday, after I made, made the video, the, the price actually started falling rather hard. It first found support at, at $67 uh, initially. Now it's it's still holding support levels we talked about yesterday, right? So yesterday, if you if you watched the video, uh, which hopefully most of you did, but I mean that's uh, th that's completely um, up to you, of course. What we said is that it was quite likely, especially with the uh, oh, I'm looking at two uh, I'm looking at two Solana charts right now, but especially with the bearish momentum and pressure coming from Bitcoin. Uh, while well, the Bitcoin dominance, at least in the last uh, couple of hours, has been growing as well. It just was most likely that uh, that Solana would actually, excuse me, would actually fall down a little bit more. But what I said is that I did expect this green level between $64 and ultimately $70 to hold and for uh, Solana to, to consolidate in this level and then eventually get back up towards $75 and then also break above that level to rally up to, uh, to 86 and 88. That's what I said. And I, I still do expect that, um, that second part of the analysis. So I do still expect Solana to eventually still get, a, get back up to 86 and 88 dollars. The thing though is it, that it, it's that it's, it's that it does look like we're, we're due for a bigger market correction than I expected. Or at least the market, um, the market correction, look, Bitcoin could go down all the way to 39,000 and 38,500, which is, which is something I have talked about and it's a scenario. Um, however, I thought Solana was a bit stronger individually to actually uh, to, to actually hold support uh, while the bearish pressure was was pushing it down. And I don't think it passed that test because it's already at $64. $64 really is the is the last support level. If that breaks, I can no longer technically call Solana bullish. And right now you can also see that the EMAs are kind of flipping from from support to resistance. Uh, that excuse me, I, I have problems with my nose again. It's it's super annoying, um, but yeah. So you can see that that's flipping. So I'm just not confident anymore in that Solana will hold support. I actually think at this moment it's most likely Solana will drop down further. Now there's major support right here as well, around sixty two and sixty dollars. Perhaps if it finds support from there and then instantly breaks above $64 again, perhaps that then we can still consolidate here and then eventually get back up to $75. Uh, but at this moment, given the weakness that Solana is showing right now, you can also see that the momentum right here is dropping down quite severely. I would actually say that a, that a bearish breakout for Bitcoin right now uh, would actually cause Solana to find support at $60 but uh, then afterwards also to drop down towards $52 and $54. So... And from there, uh, Solana is just bearish. And I do think Solana at some point of time will then consolidate and, and start to get some new bullish momentum. But that is, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be hard from there. All right. And I think something like this at this moment is actually most likely. Now, as long as it's still above $64, like I said, it still is bullish. So if for whatever reason, uh, Solana is able to reclaim $67 and $70, uh, $70 for example, then there is a possibility that Solana stays strong and stays bullish, but uh, but yeah, no, I I just don't uh, I just don't think that's that's most likely. Uh, it's uh, it, it, it's a possibility. I'm keeping it in mind personally. I'm staying out of Solana right now. I'm not longing or shorting it. Uh, but given the fact that the momentum is dropping down, that Bitcoin is exerting quite a lot of bearish pressure, and the fact that Solana technically has had some bearish breakouts here, leads me to believe it's just most likely that we'll we'll get a drop. Uh, down to 60, 62, and then if from that level we're not able to break above $65 again, then probably also lower. Uh, so yeah, those are my thoughts. That's my full analysis on, uh, on Solana. So if you do have any questions, of course, let me know. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out my, uh, my premium and signal group down in the description or the pinned comments. But that's up to you. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.